Hello everyone, this is Mohan Royal. Today we are going to see about sliding block with a rotary guide. This is our today's assembly. Here we have a base part, then three blocks which is going to slide on the respective path on base part and then a block connector which is connected to all three blocks. Here the block connector is going to travel on the base part in a circular path so we can say rotary guide for the block. Let's get into the session. Currently we are in a kinematics workbench. So I'm going to fix one part. So I'm selecting fix, new mechanism, renaming the uh, mechanism as sliding block. Here for kinematics, we should have one fix and one command to simulate the mechanism. That's why here I'm selecting the base part. So you can see the mechanism node is came under the application node. Here you can see the fix as well. For this block, uh, it is going to slide on the base part. So I'm going to use prismatic. Uh, it's asking for line one selecting the block uh, line then for line 2 I am selecting the base part line then it is asking for plane 1 plane 2 selecting side face then the block side face ok we need to give length to the one you can see it came under the joints node so next I am going to use a revolute uh, for this uh, block connector asking for line 1 then line 2 for plane 1 I am selecting top face then uh, for plane 2 offset don't forget to give offset uh, then ok uh, the same I am going to give for the uh, uh, remaining two blocks so I am going to use double click and then uh, selecting the prismatic line 1 then line 2 then I am selecting the side face of the block then the uh, base part side face ok I am going to do the same for the uh, one more block selecting a uh, line one of the block then line to form uh, base spot and selecting side face of the base spot then a uh, side face of the block then okay now we are all done with the uh, prismatic i am going to use the revolute so i am double clicking the revolute for line one i am going to select the uh, uh, connector line then uh, block line then top face, top face, offset okay. don't forget to give offset otherwise it will uh, move to zero and same line 1 then line 2 then plane 1 then plane 2 offset uh, ok we can give cancel we are almost done uh, only remaining thing is uh, we need to give the uh, point go for the uh, mm, block connector here we, you can see one degree of freedom left so we need to make it zero selecting uh, point curve asking for curve one selecting the uh, base part curve then point two i'm selecting uh, that line that takes so it is not taking so i'm going to hide the base part We can unite the base. If you can see it will oh, the degree of freedom is still one. Okay, we need to give a length driven for the point curve. So I'm going to enable the length driven. Then okay. The mechanism can be simulated. You can see the degree of freedom came to zero. Okay, we have completed our mechanism. Okay. Then I'm going to hide the constraints. Then the sketch. Hide constraints. Then going to settings. Then uh, no wires. Okay. Okay. Let's check how it is working. Simulation with the command. Then we can simply try the. Uh, Okay, it is working fine. Uh, let put the same in a loop, then we can see how it is working. Selecting simulation, selecting the mechanism, then OK. Here we need to give a automatic inset. Then we need to drag the uh, bar and uh, close. Then uh, play. Uh, before that, we can put the same to a loop. Uh, then play. Uh, it is working fine. Uh, I'm adding the tree. Uh, by simply pressing F3 okay I'm 
placing it for a better view uh, okay it is fine i think then we can uh, change the speed as well i'm going to reduce the speed to 0.2 okay it is working fine I'm going to reduce 0.02 Okay guys, it is working fine. This is all about our uh, today's mechanism. Uh, please do subscribe and share.